for today's makeup lesson, I want to show you how to create three different looks using the same technique but changing the color. I want to show you how subtle changes to just the color can change the color of your eyes. This purple, for instance, is bringing out that very slight green in my eyes, making it pop a little bit more because of the contrast, whereas this green tone matches the green in my eyes, which is actually bringing out the green and the warm browns in my eyes. And then, of course, blue is a great one for brightening up the whites of your eyes, making any eye color pop that little bit more, but especially for the brown tones. All of these looks are really easy to create, and I'm sure that you'll find one that will work for you. But before we get into all of that, if you're new here to the makeup, Makeup chair channel and you enjoy tutorials like this then I might suggest hitting the subscribe button below it's totally free and if you're already subscribed then thank you and welcome back now let's get started the first step in creating any eye makeup look is to prime the eyelids this is like priming any surface before you paint it it creates a smooth surface that is prepared for makeup, which is very important when using colors because some people are more prone to staining and an eyeshadow primer will create a barrier to prevent that while also creating a blank canvas for us to work on so that the colors will show up more for you. And for this purple look, we're going to start off with a purple eyeliner. Now, if you don't have the steadiest hand, you can fold your pinky or lay it flat on your cheek and this will just give you a little bit more stability. And I always like to start in the center of the lid, right at the lash line. And then I simply join the outer edge to the center and the inner corner to the center. I find this so much easier than trying to attempt a solid line all the way across, which just is a little bit too tricky for me. I would also recommend doing one eye at a time so that the liner doesn't have time to set. Because what we want to do is to smudge this with eyeshadow. So I'm going to be taking a deep purple eyeshadow on a flat brush. You can start off with a deep liner and a medium eyeshadow if you want as well. But what you want to do is to press and smudge this right at the lash line, doing this little pressing and lifting motion to blend this upwards. And you can keep your hand high or you can bring it low in front of you as long as you're doing this little wiggling back and forth motion to smudge the shadow and the liner together. You want to work this up to about the halfway point of the lid. That's all I want to cover. I don't want to cover the full lid, just the halfway point. You're then going to take an eyeshadow at least one shade darker than your skin tone or you can use your bronzer or your contour as long as they're matte and apply this with a fluffy brush. You're basically blending this above everything that we've already applied, working this into the crease of the eye. This is going to frame and shape the eyes similar to how your contour and your bronzer frame your face. This will also work for framing your eyes. For an extra step, I always like to add a matte fade shade. This is going to go around the edges of the contour, and because we've been using purples, I like to use a matte pink. This will really complement the purple shade, but also create more of a soft, kind of blurry effect with our contour. And I'm using the E10 by Blank Canvas Cosmetics. Now this is my friend's brand, so I am a little bit biased, but you do need this brush in your life. I have been using this brush for like 10 plus years. It's still one of my favorite brushes. And then for a highlight, I'm going to be using the new Urban Decay Moon Dust. This was sent out to me. This has a slight pink tone with like a little bit of silver, and I just love how it just brings this entire look together. And then simply apply your mascara and some lashes if you want to, and there you go, a purple smoky eye. What I love about purple is that it works great on mature skin because it's brightening, but it's not harsh, and it works on every eye color. It's also a great one if you're tired of always applying neutrals, try adding a little bit of purple in there. It's so wearable, but it's like one step closer to a little bit of color. Moving on to green, there are so many shades of green out there and I picked a deep teal, which has the more of a bluish kind of tone. I feel like this works because I already have a little bit of this tone in my own eyes. So what you can do is use your eyes as a reference point, try to find any green that's in there and then match that with the eyeshadow. Or if you have no green in your eyes, but you want to wear green, have a look at your wrists. This is a great way to tell what shade of green you want to apply, whether you want to apply more of an 
olive green or more of a bluey green. Have a look at your wrists and it will definitely complement your eyes as well. Again, we want the first step to be applying eyeshadow primer. This is going to create a smooth surface while also giving the eyeshadow something to hold on to. Now, I like to apply it with a damp sponge. I just find it very soothing on the eyes and it also creates a very even base. For this look, we're starting off with a green liner. This is a little bit more of a blue green, but you can switch this up for whatever will work for you. When you actually compare it to a blue liner, you can see how much more green it is, but it's definitely a mixture between blue and green. And again, I'm using the same technique of starting in the middle and then joining it up rather than doing one solid line. Definitely let me know if you've tried this out and if it's worked for you because I'd love to know. And remember, just do one eye at a time so that the liner doesn't have time to set because we are going to be smudging this. So you can go liner, then eyeshadow, then liner, and then eyeshadow. You don't have to do one full eye completely. Just make sure that the liner and the eyeshadow are applied one at a time. And you should end up with something that looks like this. I am taking a deep green eyeshadow on a flat brush next, and you can start from above or you can press and smudge this across the lash line. And you can use your pinky for a little bit of support if you feel like your hands aren't very steady. And you're basically doing a little smudging, pressing motion. Now I'm using a flat brush, but you can also use a pencil brush if you want to. Once you have covered the eyeliner with the eyeshadow, you can then start to smudge and blend this, just using little back and forth motions as you work upwards, covering about the halfway point of the lid. And then you should end up with something that looks like this. You're gonna take that eyeshadow that's at least one shade darker than your skin tone, and you can use your bronzer, your contour as well. Again, as long as they're matte, and we're just going to sculpt and shape around the eyes using our blending brush. Take your time with this. You wanna make sure that it complements your eye shape, so you're following your natural curves and shapes of your eyes. And this is a very important step for hooded eyes in particular, because it's just going to recede the hood so that the lid is showing a little bit more. I will be using a matte fade shade to go around the edges of the contour. And because we're using green, one thing that I like to do is use a matte mustard yellow. This is just going to complement the green while also adding more of an olive tone to the rest of the eye. It's very subtle, but I feel like it makes such a difference. For highlight, I'm gonna be using a metallic neutral just on the inner corner. So you can use your face highlighter if you want to as well. This just adds that more neutral kind of earthy tone, which makes it a little bit more wearable. And then finish off with your mascara and your lashes. And there you go, you have a green smoky eye. I also love this as a one step away from just using neutrals, but still keeping it quite earthy. So it's a great one if you are new to color. It also works on pretty much every eye color out there, as long as you're choosing the right shade of green. Moving on to blues, I have to admit, I am not a blue person. I don't really like blues on me, but I do find that it does brighten up the eyes. Again, we're gonna start off with an eyeshadow primer. I find that blues stain my eyelids the most. Some people are just prone to certain shades staining their lids, and the eyeshadow primer is gonna create a barrier to help with that. Once we prime the lids, I'm then gonna start off with this electric blue eyeliner, and I couldn't find my favorite deep navy, so what I've opted for is applying this liner, which is like an electric blue, but then applying a dark, almost blue-black eyeshadow over the top. The two of them are gonna mix really well together, but still add that nice blue tone. And I'm using a flat brush to press the deep blue-black eyeshadow over the top of this liner, making sure to smudge the two of them together. And remember how I said it's really important to do one eye at a time? You can really see it for this look in particular. You can see how the electric blue liner is mixing with the blue black to create this bluey tone. If the eyeliner had time to set, we would be creating a very different look because they wouldn't be smudging together. You'd just be applying it over the top. So it's important to do one eye at a time because otherwise you'll likely end up with two very different shades on your eyes. So just focus on the first two steps before moving on, doing it one eye at a time. And you should end up with something that looks like this. I am then taking that eyeshadow at least one shade darker than your skin tone or using your bronzer or your contour. And again, you're going to frame the eyes with this, blending this above everything that we've already applied, working this into the crease and slightly upwards to create some frame and some shape. 
and I will be using a matte fade shade again, but because we are using blue, I like to use peach. I just find peaches really bring out the blue tones. You could use yellow, you could even use pink, but I find that the peach is a great compromise between the two. For highlight, I'm going to be using another Moon Dust. This is a really pretty white glitter, and I feel like it just adds to that brightness that we're getting from the blue tones. Finish off with mascara and lashes, and there you go. You have an electric blue smoky eye that's kind of wearable. Maybe not as wearable for my taste, but still pretty wearable, and a great step into trying out colors. Even if you're not sure if you like blue or any particular color, give it a try, because you never know. I want to apologize if this video isn't my best work. My dog, Pebbles, she's fine, but she had a stroke and it was very scary and it just happened. So I am on very little sleep, but between her medical bills and my own medical bills, because I had an accident and I have, <laughs> I have bruised ribs and it's hard to talk and it's hard to breathe, but we're getting there. But I just really wanted to get some videos out there. And I really hope that you still enjoyed this one. And as always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. And I hope to see you in another one really soon, probably tomorrow, because I got bills to pay. <laughs> I'll see you soon.